Yo, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to share with you a different way on how to manifest your desires. And not only that, I'll explain on how to do it easily. You know what I'm saying? So if you're frustrated all the time wondering why it's so hard to get what you really want, then yo, stay tuned. And this is part of the series I'm doing called Reality Transurfing by Vadim Zilin. Let's do this. You see, usually when you want something, you have a desire. What happens, unfortunately? At least for a lot of people. You start doubting. You start asking questions like, how the heck will I be able to do that? Or is it going to work out? Or is it even possible? Things like that. And so, here's what Zealand says for you to do with all that doubt and worry. Let it go. Ditch it. Give it up. It's a bad habit. Why? As I've mentioned already in many of my previous videos, the world is what? A mirror. The world is a mirror. Listen, that reflects your relationship to it. And if that's true, which it is, well then, if you have all this fear and doubt, guess what? The world, like any mirror, will reflect your emotional state. It'll reflect your emotional state. And as a result, you won't end up getting what you want. Okay, so what are you supposed to do then? I'm glad you asked. Here's what you can do from now on when you want something. Ready? You intend it. You intend it. It's like this. Zealand says that if you want or need something, don't plead for it, don't demand it, and definitely don't waste any energy procrastinating over it. Just go ahead and get it. Go and get it. Calmly take what's yours without insistence, just like how you would get your letters from the mailbox. It's simple, right? All you do is place one foot in front of the other on the way to the mailbox, and you get your mail. That's it. You don't make a big deal about it. You don't place any importance on it or need to get all excited. Nah, dude, you just do it. You get your mail. Intention, plain and simple. Now, that being said, you take that same kind of energy and mindset and apply it to all your desires. Where you focus on what it feels like to get what you want, dispassionately, without all sorts of conditions or reasoning about it. Here's an example Zilin gives. Let's say you want to take the bus. Don't think about whether you'll be in time for the bus, okay, or whether the bus will come, or how long you're going to have to wait. Just simply walk to the bus stop knowing that the bus will arrive at any moment. Because it will. That's the attitude to have and to carry with you wherever you go. Whether you're looking for a parking spot, taking a test, or at a job interview, whatever, just go for it. Because look, when you make something freaking a big deal, or you place too much importance on it, what happens? And I'm sure a lot of you can vouch for this. The harder it is to reach, for real. So they're saying that if you want something really badly, you'll eventually get it? It ain't true, folks. We all know that from experience. Shoot, <laughs> those things we want with too much importance get pushed further and further away. Which is why, according to Zeeland, intention isn't about intensity or zeal. Rather, it's about quiet focus and resolve. Let me share an example in my own life. For instance, when I'm out with friends for coffee, sometimes in a big group too. Obviously, we gotta look for available seats when we get to the place. And where I'm at, places here can get pretty packed. So is it possible there won't be any seats available? Sure. But I never worry about it. I don't focus on it. In fact, there have been many times, many times when we get to the place and all the seats are taken. And then my friends would look at me probably wondering if we should go somewhere else. But then I tell them no and to just go online and buy their stuff. And then the moment they're done buying their food and drinks, what do you know? A table frees up all of a sudden. Boom. This has happened so many times, you guys. It's dope. So whatever you do, whether it's for the so-called little things or what you might consider big, it's all subjective. Do it with confidence. Is there a possibility of failure? Or if that's too strong of a word, of you not always getting what you want? Sure, I don't deny that. And if that happens, don't even trip, dude. Just try it again. Or go to another place, like my coffee shop example. Because it's not the end of the world, right? But once you've consciously accepted the possibility of failure, Zealand says, don't think about it. Just move in the direction of your goal. Again, just like how you'd walk over to get your letters from the mailbox calm and cool. One thing you can learn to say is this, if it works out, great. If it doesn't, even better, even better. So when things don't go your way, you can tell yourself everything's unfolding just as it should be, which is a good response. Why again? Because the world's a mirror. Check this out. When you turn a seemingly negative event into positive thoughts, then that's exactly what the event will be. The mirror will reflect your mood. You get it now? All right, real talk. What about you? What's your desire today? Okay. 
Does it have to do with money or your health, relationships? It can be anything. Now, don't ask, will it happen or not? The better question is, what do I choose? What do I choose without placing too much importance on it though? Then once you've decided, you know what you want, then go get it. Act on it as though it were a done deal. Put one foot in front of the other and take what's yours straight up. And then here's what's going to happen. Zealand says that when you don't think about the problem, but instead you act and create momentum calmly and confidently, then outer intention will open the right doors at the right time and you will get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And in case you haven't heard, there's an official International Transurfing Institute for the English Language endorsed by Vadim Zielin himself. And you can find out more by clicking on the links below. And yo, don't forget to register for my free online training that'll seriously help you to start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.